Yeah, I need to work now. Late night shift. Well, not totally late night, just uh, four hours worth. Yeah. Turned on my light. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to have a little bit of time before I clock in, unless they really need my help. Um, I thought I'd kind of talk about something. You know, you know, a lot of fans, you know, it, it just amazes me how dedicated fans are to certain things. You know, I, I looked at Tails' channel today here on YouTube, and um, it's kind of surprising, if you will. Whoa. It's, it's kind of surprising that um, here you have him and another person, you know, using a software that allows them to almost make identical, if not, well, you know, fu you know, screw it, you know, identical CGI animations, and that they're dedicating 11 to 13, maybe 15 minutes worth of the Tales Channel YouTube, or the Tales YouTube channel, the Tales Channel YouTube channel, I should say, easy for me to say. Or easy for me to say. Okay, easy for me to say. Um, but anyway, it's, it's kind of a surprise. The dedicating, edit, dedicating uh, a lot of that, you know, some of that channel to doing a CGI sh fan-made show called Sonic Misadventures, and you know, it just shows, like I say, the dedication that this fan base has. I mean. Here you have on one hand, you know, these guys along with other people that are going to be part of it, you know, doing this, whoa, doing this show. And on the other hand, you have, you know, you have that season group trying to revive in some way Sonic's, he, Sonic's at AM season three. In from not just web, not just in web comic form, but in um, all for in animation form. You know, you got this Dooley Studios trying to do CGI animation or try to adapt the early Sonic st comic stories from Archie into animation through CGI. And if that's not enough, how about the fact, and this is a real one, how about the fact that you have fans modifying hacking and modifying if you will classic Sonic games and sometimes not so classic but recent Sonic games to uh, basically feature you know characters of, of Sad AM you know you know how how amazing is that how dedicated is that if you will Sorry if you hear any noise. It's my apologies there. Uh, but like I said, how dedicated is that? You know? Do you have fan bases willing to... willing to hack and modify games to feature their favorite characters in the starring, in the starring if not the starring, starring roles? You know? You know, you take a look at a site like Sonic Retro and it gives you a whole list of games of like Sonic 1, 2, 3 maybe, and others that pretty much fans have, fans have uh, hacked and modified to feature characters like Amy, Sally, and who knows who else. All because of the fact that they want, um, they want to see these characters in these games. They're basically, in my sense, trying to send a message to Sega saying, hey, look, you need to put these characters officially in games. You know, you need to officially, you know, make games that are similar to this with these characters. Hold on for a second. Sorry about that. Um, I had to pause to call uh, my mom. I'm borrowing her phone. Well, because mine doesn't have minutes and it's pretty much dead right now, so had to borrow hers to let her know I arrived at work. Uh, but anyway, like I said, you know, 
you know, you take a look at the dedication that these fans have, uh, basically with these uh, these characters. I mean, not characters, but this franchise. Just what they're willing to do. I mean, you even have char- you even have fans of a Demon Art that are willing to take their time and redraw over certain story arcs in the Archie Sonic comics because they want to see somebody else in the place of another character. And again, that's just, to me, true dedication. And it's like I've said before, and I think I said in another audio video about what fans have to do. This is the... Again, this is what fans have to do. You know, I mentioned it before about something else. I can't remember. But again, this is what fans of any franchise has to do. They have to go out of the way. Literally sometimes. And, you know, just basically kind of tell the people that created these characters, hey, look, if we're willing to go out of our way, willing to take our time to do this, to, let's say, modify certain characters or certain games or certain comic strips, if we're willing to take our time to create our own 2D or CGI 3D animated series because we want to see something, then maybe you... People at Sega, Archie, and whoever else needs to take the time and realize, you know what? There's probably a place for a lot of this. There's, there's room for this. And to me, again, that just shows the dedication the fan base has. And again, it's for any fan- franchise out there. I've seen it with Turtles. I've seen it with Rescue Rangers at times. Transformers, most definitely. You know, any franchise out there has this kind of dedication. I mean, heck, you have uh, one fan called Chaotic Lover. He's done his own Sonic fan fix. He's crossed one. He's done a crossover with Friendship and Magic. And one of the things he's done is he's taken the main character of Sally. He's taken main characters like Amy, Loop, you know, Lita and Lyco, the wolf twins. And he's basically given them elastic powers. In other words, made them into ro- women almost... That are like living rubber. They can shape shift into anything, clothing, you name it. Become liquefied if they have to, or puddles if they have to. I mean, anything. And again, that just shows the dedication this fan base has. Dedication to want to see certain things happen, even if it's by their hand. In a sense, to me, what this fan base is doing is they're sending a message to Archie, they're sending a message to Sega and to anybody else. Else, to those that own the rights to the Saturday M animated series and adventure series and underground series. And hey, if we're willing to do this, yes, if you will, to all, uh, to everything that I've mentioned, from modifying hacking games to where you see Sally, Amy, maybe Bunny in there, to redrawing over arcs like the Sonic Universe Mobius Years story arc, and you have Amy in the place of Sally, you know. And you have, you know, fans dedicating hours to do, make CGI promos for new CGI shows of their own or shows that will continue on something or be based on something. It's like, you know, how much more dedication do you have to see? How much more? How much more of a message does, does it need to be sent? And I think that's what fans do with any kind of franchise, especially Sonic's. They're sending a message. And that message is, hey, if we're willing to do this, take our time in doing this and make it a real reality... Why can't you, Seika? Why can't you, Archie? You know, and I think that's what fans need to keep doing, no matter what the franchise. So, that's all I'm going to say for now. I'm going to go inside, not clock in yet for work, but kind of shop around a little bit for stuff so that I can just go straight home afterwards. So, till later, guys. Peace out. And let me know what you think down below.